What is a reasonable estimate of the kinetic energy of an Olympic athlete sprinting in a 100 meter race? Well, 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 we are doing an estimate. Every pass here kind of starts with this question, estimating kinetic energy. So you want to kind of think of, oh, hey, Ke equals to half mv square. But they didn't give us any information at all. How? How? We maybe would think of, okay, never mind. We stay calm. Can we guess roughly how heavy an Olympic athlete would be? It could be a guy, could be a girl. Somewhere in between maybe around 60, 80, 90 kg. Let's just choose 80. And how about velocity? Velocity is distance over time, assuming there's no acceleration. So for a 100 meter race, how long can the Olympic athlete run? Uh, you can go and Google up and see 100 meter races in, in see the world records. They're about 9 seconds, 10 seconds. Or let's say 10 seconds. Square. You might even try this though. If you're stuck at home, try go on the road, time yourself, see what's your personal record for a 100 meter race. Ah, that'll be interesting. Anyway, we do this calculation, we should get... I think, what did we get? Uh? Half, 80, and 10 square. Oh, 400, 4,000 joules. So our estimate based on these numbers will be 4,000 joules, and that is the correct question. If you are feeling sketchy like Miss, what if I use another weight? You can try it out. A human weight for Olympic athletes, I guess they're pretty muscular, somewhere between 60 to maybe 90 if you're weight. I mean, you're a runner, okay, maybe somewhere in that range, you should be able to get somewhere around the thousands, maybe 3,000, 5,000, but not a whole nother zero over there. Anyway, that's this for the first question.